at what West Virginia is doing there now. They had the three wide receivers in the ball game at the same time. Trying to force mismatches with TCU in that man coverage. They put that one man in, in motion. Uh, clock is running. They're going to probably maybe take as much time as they might even take a penalty here and let it run all the way down before they put this punt in the air to use up the uh, get the clock underneath one minute. It is fourth down three. Steve Superick, Supi back to do the punting. And Byron Winwood. And they go to a little surprise, and Walkley may be able to break it. He is finally pulled down from behind by Linwood. Well, you talk about wide open football. West Virginia decides, wait a minute, we got a 28-7 lead. We got 52 seconds to go in the first half. And Wolfley carries it for 24 yards and a first down. Just a great call. They were in a great position to make the play. Kind of a safe, unexpected type play. You, you know if you don't make it, you know that they still have a long way to go with less time to go into play. They just snapped the ball to the up back then. They snapped it to the up back, and he ran it with some good block, and here's the shot of it. See it go to the fullback. Like an old single wing type play. They kick out of the outside, but a missed tackle. If, the, if they make the tackle, they don't make this big game. First down on the 22. Kevin White coming to the near side. It is caught by number one, Gary Mullen, the flanker from Clareton, Pennsylvania, and Billy Oliver, the cornerback, had the coverage on the play, got him after an eight-yard pickup, and the clock shows 24 seconds to go in the first half in West Virginia, trying to put some more points on the board. And there's a penalty on the play, and that's usually in the vicinity where holding it would be called, Merle. And that is the call, holding against West Virginia. So the Mountaineers, who have come to Houston to show their wares, my goodness, they've shown us about everything you can possibly come up with in an offensive arsenal. Well, they really have. It's been a great, exciting, wide-open offensive game, and the only way they've been stopped, they stopped themselves. The first time they had the ball, they scored a touchdown. Second time, they had that penalty, which uh, started with first and 25, touched down the next time, touched down the next time, threw an interception, and now they come up with this, with this uh, penalty. So they really, uh, TCU's defense has not stopped West Virginia. Both these teams in the national rankings earlier this year. Let's get the call. Illegal use of hands. Offense, five-yard penalty. First down. So it's a first down and 15 for West Virginia. West Virginia, 333 yards total offense. 20. They still have their three timeouts left, Merle. They've got plenty of time here now. 24 seconds. They can get a lot of plays off if they throw passes or if they're completed and they use their, use their timeouts. You know, West Virginia has had a couple of very disappointing ball games. For instance, uh, upset by Maryland 20 to 17 on a field goal with 21 seconds left. And then Temple won by a score of 19 to 17. Actually, after the clock had run out, we'll tell you more about that in a moment. Kevin White, here comes the reverse, maybe. Mullen almost trapped. Now he's going to throw the football, and it is caught at the four yard line. Was he in bounds? Yes, Drury. John Thomas and Willie Drury fighting for the football. A 23 yard pickup, first and goal to go at the five yard line, and 16 seconds to play. Well, there's just you couldn't want any more excitement than this. Watch him fake the running play here, makes a little handoff reverse to Mullins coming around. Look him make a good move. Now he stops and throws his ability to throw the ball. It's a pretty good pass for a receiver throwing the ball down there. And look at Drury go up and catch that play. What a quick football player this Drury is. Drury, a senior from Columbus, New Jersey, and the Pro Scouts are going to be drooling over him. First and goal, White rolling left, looking, throwing, ball batted down by number 82, Paul Jones, the senior out of East Hills High School in Fort Worth, Texas, and there he is. Drury, five receptions, 130 yards in the first half. Well, I wouldn't be a bit surprised, and TCU has to do some blitzing on this play. They, they second and third down here, they're really going to have to come with a blitz to try to but not allow West Virginia to get another touchdown at this stage right before the half. Jones and Sharp are in the secondary, so Sharp is the nickelback. He's number 42. Here come the Mountaineers on second and goal. 11 seconds to go in the first half. Wolfley and Gay are the running backs. Alley-oop incomplete. Drury covered by Sean Thomas, 22, the All-America cornerback. And so, West Virginia, with seven seconds left on the clock, brings on the field goal unit. And Paul Woodside, the great All-America from Falls Church, Virginia, who has kicked 14 out of 20 field goals this year and is the leading scorer in West Virginia history, is warming up the leg. 
Woodside in 1982 hit 28 out of 31 field goals for an NCAA record for accuracy. This will be a 21-yard effort, and it is good. Woodside puts three on the board for West Virginia. So with four seconds left to play in the first half, it is West Virginia 31, TCU 7.